Okay, we'll see how this works. This uh, drainage channel that I carved in here earlier before the rains is really pulling up. We just had a gully washer here. I got a stream up here. I got a lake up there. I have to figure out what to do with that. But here I was thinking, I thought I had this a perfect linear grade down to the uh, 10 foot French drain sump here, but apparently I had a lip here. So it was all pulling up here, but uh, I haven't really finished off whatever it is I'm going to do here. So it's kind of a lip. So I got the tractor here. I don't have the backhoe on, so without sacrificing much of the uh, newly planted grass which is here and coming up, I just kind of put the bucket down there and just kind of cut that lip off so that it drains down. There wasn't a lot of dirt, just a uh, cut over here, dirt. But uh, looking at the ripples, it looks like it's off. So you can hear me. Yeah, so I cut that lip off here, and now it seems to be draining. Not only that, I see ripples here. Look at that. So that's doing exactly what I wanted it to do earlier, but apparently I didn't get that grade right. I wasn't far off, so I didn't have to tear this up too bad at all. If I would have had a better angle, I would have been able to cut that grass so that you wouldn't even notice it. The lip was just right here, but uh, because I have a a stash here, a hidden surplus of uh, premium cedar chips. I couldn't really get the machine in there quite right. I guess I could have taken a scoop or two out of there and put it on top so I get a better cut, but that's okay. I got lots of grass seed, but let's see how this drains. Uh, it looks like it's going right down in there, so let me get over there. And uh, like I said, that hole is 10 foot deep by 10 foot wide and full of uh, inch and a half drainage rock. And there was a big stump here. Uh, this is the pit where I almost fell in and got killed. Let me get up in here. And, uh, oh man, it's going in there. Look at that, it's going in there somewhere. Lots of water. So maybe that works. Uh, if that does work, I'll have to dress this up when it dries out. Maybe just kind of work my magic on this here. But it looks like it's coming out of that uh, gully here, that trench. I can see that lower here just a couple minutes here that I've been talking. And it is coming off there kind of nice. And uh, yeah, heck, it's going right down in there. So uh, that's good. Now, if I can just get the other stuff in here, this could be a long process trying to get this grading stuff right here. I thought I was onto something with possibly starting a landscape business. Turns out I don't know jack about any of this stuff. Slopes and grades, drainage and all that. But you got to learn somewhere, learn in route. Uh, what to do over there, I'm thinking at some point I'm going to have to do the same. In fact, let's walk over there because when I was doing a final grade here, racing around to get this seeded before the rains came in uh, early September, I uh, scratched out a trench there. I mean, I moved a lot of that. I removed a lot of dirt. Look at all this filth. This whole thing is full, the whole fence full of piles here. Uh, and all this came from just those two channels. The one we were just looking at. And there's more here. I got dirt stacked everywhere. That's what I scraped out of here. I tried to make uh, a channel because I knew that this floor, the forest entry here, this is what I call the forest entry, uh, is lower. Let's see, it's not wet here at all. It's lower than this, but I didn't get that grade right. So it seems like there's a high spot or a crown here and a low spot there. If I had just a way, boy, it's really unfortunate now because it's way too super to get the tractor in there. That's what I was fighting last year. I screwed the pooch. I mean, if I were to get just this crown off here, uh, there's a big puddle up there on the edge of the driveway. And unfortunately it's draining. You can see the river and there's ripples underneath the uh, tower that's leaning up against the shed. And it's running right underneath the shed and pulling up over here. That's really bad because that's where the tower foundation is gonna go. I don't think I can have that water running there. 
the minimal if I decided to dig the hole, that thing would fill up instantly with water. So it seems like I need to cut this crown out and get a little bit of a channel to get that to fall down into here. Right there, that's standing water. If I could bring that channel down into here, I'll have to shoot this with the transit again and get this a little bit lower than this should drain into here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that's going down pretty good over there. So I may have had limited success with that idea. So it's just that when I did the uh, final seating and raking, I left a little lip there. I mean, not on purpose, but oh yeah, that's. Uh, let me get back over the chips. I should just move some of these chips. I actually need them on the other side of the yard right now. The other side I'm working on. But yeah, I got foam. Yeah, that water is running. Yeah, maybe I could put some drainage rocks. I'm going to leave it like that. It's not disturbed too bad. Uh, the grass is fine. I mean, the grass line is supposed to be here anyhow. So, uh, yeah, I could dress that up. So, yeah, it's running pretty good there. I'm falling down in here, and I see it running down in here. This is the entrance of the pit this pit i'm standing on spans about 10 foot in diameter and at least uh, i say 10 feet deep maybe it was more like six feet deep or so i mean it was deep it was a big massive hole there's five yards of uh one half uh, inch and a half drainage rock uh, bigger than this stuff i don't know what, but yeah i guess it is sort of like this stuff but there's a lot of rock down in there and then on top, I put some big rocks, you know, over top. And I carefully covered, covered it with dirt. And so the dirt layer isn't very thick. You can see some of the, the rocks that I pulled up there. So this is the or the top, the lid of the uh, drainage trench or pit. So I'm not sure how to ensure to keep it clean and keep it from uh, filling up with mud and silt because then that would be just a couple of years and this thing would fill up and be no good. I guess I could have put drainage uh, fabric. I do have a roll of uh, fabric in there. Uh, I might do that, I don't know. I don't know enough about any of this, but a minimal, let's see, see if it drains. It's still draining over there. So this is just that one gully washer. So that's pretty positive. Uh, it would be nice to know if it was taking any of that water. Let's go over there. Uh, I don't dare hazard to take the tractor out in the middle of that. That was a mistake I made last year, I think. I made a gooey, I compacted it, and uh, it just totally ruined that whole thing. Not to say it's ruined this year. It might be, I don't know. But last year I was driving a tractor through it in October, November, packing it down, making trenches and squishing out, and it never drained. Uh, let me kind of get over here. Yeah, um, I think it's too far off. I mean, it looks like this is kind of running down into the channel, which is kind of by design. Because once it gets in this lower channel, that was my design, is to have it just flow down into that uh, drainage pit there. Which, interestingly enough, go over here. Uh, this morning and all these other rains, there was puddles. Let's go. Well, I guess that's not so interesting because we're still here. I was referring to this little mini puddle here. Thinking that somehow that was running down. Well, running down into that trench. But it is. I can kind of see the waves of the pine needles where it was running down into here. Uh, I mean, there's nothing appreciable standing here standing water i mean there's some there but there's some there but this has yet to been uh, worked on yet so what i'm really concerned about is this here uh getting that into either that trench or another trench so it was this puddle here this thing was huge it's already come down quite a bit but you can see it created its own little river right here and I kind of still see it flowing so it's hitting that low spot which is exactly where I need to dig that four foot by four foot by four foot 
foundation for the ham radio tower. So it looks like I got this whole center area wrong. It's, it's kind of dishes, it runs down into here, and I wanted it to run down into there, but I guess I didn't get that right. In any event, that doesn't even look that far off. But I may have to wait till next year for that. Can I get that tractor and that muck? Oh boy, it's not going to be pretty. The tractor is fairly heavy and it's going to squish down in there. I mean, we may have some dry days here in October. It's only September 26th. Uh, but then there goes the grass and everything else. So I don't know. Uh, I'm going to give it another hour or so to see what it looks like. I mean, it's starting to subside. Uh, I'm not even sure how much rain we got. I in the house watch TV. I was just so sick of the rain. It's, God, every time I get on the tractor, the rain comes. My gravel delivery came. I got five yards. Originally, I said 10, but I changed to my mind. I called him before the delivery and said, make it five, because I thought 10 might be too much. But as it turns out, it looks like five may not even be enough. So there, and I put this here last night. Not a hazard to say, that's probably an inch of water into rain uh, since last night it was probably a half inch in here this morning quarter inch half inch and three inches in the big bucket so anyway that's what we got let's go take a peek over here and then i'll cut you guys loose and get this video uploaded to those few who might vaguely be interested in it you could see it so Standing puddles here. Let's see, is it running? Well, it doesn't look like it's gone down much. But no, it's running. I can see the ripples over there. Let me try to zoom in. Can I zoom in? Yeah, I got a little stream there. I got a little creek, a brook. <laughs> uh, I don't know how the big, I mean, I could pretty that up somehow. Maybe just put big stones all around it so it'll block it. Like I said, I just don't want the dirt to get in there. But if it gets hard packed and the dirt's not free to move around, then it's probably going to be okay. Uh, we're cleaning out. I mean, the thing is, <clears throat> this diameter of the, the top, the lid of this drainage pit is so big, uh, I could easily just scrape out another area someplace and get down into there i should have put a drain pipe but i didn't know if i needed a drain pipe looking back on it, i think i probably should have put a pipe up there anyhow there is a big drainage channel that i put in last year it comes from that post at the end of the uh, building number one shed right there that post and and it goes and it gets progressively deeper but it goes and stops right about here in line with that tree not in front of this pit. I should have had it curved in here. Or when I had this all tore up, I should have diverted some of that channel down into here. Uh, but if water does get in there, I think somehow it'll bubble up through here and it'll get over here eventually. But uh, yeah, heck, it's draining. It is definitely going in there. I don't know why it has to go all the way over here and not over there. I'd have to study that. Maybe the entrance, the top of the lid, it doesn't even start there. Maybe this is kind of where... No, I have to go look at the pictures. But I think, yeah, that pit should have been started right over here. So that area should be draining. I can go get a shovel. I might do that. And dig that up and find out why that's not dropping in there. Because that seems more closer, more in line with the trench. In any event, it's finding its way here. So we are got quite a bit of time on this, so I'm going to stop the video.